I don't know what's going on with this lock. This motherfucker. Look, I don't know what's going on with the lock, but anyways, I want to talk about this battle. This battle in particular. Now, look. Esoterically, is it probably a distraction? Yeah, it probably is, but I want to focus and just let's be in the moment for a second. Like, no negativity, no bullshit, all bullshit aside. This is the most beautiful shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I've been rapping for a long time. If you if you subscribe or if you know who I am, you know I've been rapping. Now, whether you think Gucci won or Jeezy won, we all won. Now, esoterically, I could feel myself getting into this because this shit had roller coasters. Like, it went up, it went down, like, it got tense. Goo up was dropping bombs on that nigga. Goo up was dropping bombs on this man. But, like, outside of all the bullshit, like, secretly, I knew this is some Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather shit. You feel me? Like, these niggas knew this shit. Even though, it, like, it ain't gonna lie. Midway through, I was like, they're going to do so icy to end this shit off. And they did. And it was beautiful. Like, I can't even get mad at it. Like, and a lot of people are going to put up videos saying, this is Nick. Oh, Guap is wrong for doing this. Or Jeezy won and all this shit. They're going to, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be trying to deter from the actual whole entire message. And the message is, nigga, we all won. Real shit. Did nobody get swung on. Did nobody get shot? Uh, did nobody get the fighting? Did nobody get jumped? Did nobody die last night? Some niggas probably went broke if they was in Magic City. But still though, like everybody did their thing. And really, it was the most enjoyable moment in internet history for me. I'm dead ass serious. Like, you can talk your shit about what you want to talk about, you know. This man was talking about this, Jesus was talking about that, this nigga had on this, Gucci was out there looking like a fucking Princess Fiona out there, bitch, that nigga was elegant up, but the whole thing is, like, they came together, and they did, it was almost poetic when you think about it, they ended their beef the same way it started, they came in the game with So Icy, and they wrapped it up with a beautiful bow, like, that shit was a movie, and we got to see it for free, Nigga, we just got a Gucci Man Jeezy concert for free. Like, in person too. Like, damn near, it felt like I was there. And like I said, this is beautiful as fuck. Like, this opened the door for a lot of, a lot of boy, especially with what's going on with rap now. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, a lot of rappers out here not making it. They not. They not make it. R.I.P. Vine, R.I.P. Mo3, R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Uh, RLP, FDG, uh, FBG Duck, I probably said that wrong, but a lot of niggas die, and two big heavy hitters in, in Atlanta came together, and they brought the city together, like, even if you are caught up in the mumbo jumbo about who won, just be thankful nobody got hurt, and you got to see at least one of your favorites go at it, like, this is amazing. Like, I ain't gonna lie, this shit was funny as fuck. Like I said, esoterically, yes, it was probably some type of distraction uh, from a bigger agenda and all that. Trust me, I'll be with the bullshit, but I ain't trying to get my video taken down from YouTube. So, just focusing on this, this is how it should be done. This is gonna open the door to so much shit. Like, now, I ain't gonna flex. I wanna see Dolphin Gotti. I said it. I wanna see Eminem and Wayne. Or Eminem and Jay-Z. Like, nigga, anything is possible now. And this was the most positive shit I've ever seen. So don't don't be looking to no fucking DJ academics or Vlad or none of them other culture vultures who are trying to bring out the negativity. You can watch other niggas' videos on YouTube. They're going to be talking about how Gucci said this and Jeezy said that. Nigga, fuck all that. I'm from Atlanta. It don't sound like it, but I'm from here. And I ain't going to lie, I'm a big-ass Gucci fan. But you got me fucked up if when he didn't play Air Forces, I didn't turn the fuck up. And I knew he was going to play Forces because he got them bitches on. He wore that fit that's under that jacket just for Air Forces. I swear, I called it too. You want to say hey? You want to say hey? You want to say hey? Just say hey. Hey. Hey, that's my niece. 
Alright, but yeah, it's five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. What's going on?